What's up traders? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm not gonna give you any strategy. I'm not gonna show you any technical analysis or fundamental analysis, but I'm gonna give you a real things. That is, you really, really need to become successful as a trader. There is a quote from Jesse Livermore. He is a legendary trader in history. He said that you are your greatest enemy. Why he said this? If you are trading for some time, then you must know why traders lose money. It's because of the emotion, emotional response we have with the trade that we take. So how you can win this emotion, how you can you know, take this, solve this problem in the root See, no matter how other way you try, if you do not solve this problem in the root, it will not solve at all and it will ruin your trading account day by day. So it is worth watching this video because I will give you a technique how you can hack your brain, the emotional brain that you have so that you can become resilient against emotion and become successful as a trader sound interesting then smash the like button for those who don't know me my name is nizam i'm a professional forex trader founder of forex trading wizard and also author of trading view if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe there will be a lot of valuable content that i'll be releasing also releasing So first see the image that you can see in this video. This is a cross section of our brain. Now if you closely look there is you see the middle part of the brain which is called the limbic system. This middle part of our brain is responsible for all kind of emotion in our that is generating in our body. Now this emotion in fact controls all our decision making all our activities in our life now how you are handling this brain will determine the quality of your life now this brain is a physical manifestation of our subconscious mind so we have two minds one is conscious mind one is subconscious mind let me clarify so first of all mind and brain so we have two minds one is conscious one is subconscious mind subconscious mind is one million times powerful than your conscious mind subconscious mind never sleeps this subconscious mind is regulates regulator of all emotions so if you see this physical brain that is middle side of the brain is physical manifestation of our subconscious mind now this subconscious mind or this brain is what controlling everything if you see the front part this front part of our brain is called the frontal lobe that is what you think what you are that is what you think and you know think that everything is right so this is what you can remember you can this is generates the consciousness but this middle part is dominating all the behavior activities decision that we take in our life now the language of the subconscious mind or this the middle part of your brain is only image that means subconscious mind cannot understand any verbal or written language it only can understand the image you put in it it cannot understand any other language subconscious mind cannot understand the difference between real and imaginary let me clarify it for example if someone you see that they're watching movie you know and then after watching movie they started to cry some people you said they're watching movie and then they cry now these people knows that this movie is just that it's, it's not real 
but why after knowing that still they are crying that is the clue that you can use to understand this because of the subconscious mind because when they are watching movie they see an image in their mind what's happening and when it has an emotional response inside them they cry because subconscious mind you know do not understand that it's not real it will take literally as it is and they started to cry but in conscious mind they know that it's not real but in behavior they are responding to the stimulus given to the subconscious mind the image put in your mind evoke the emotion in your brain and hence control your behavior and control your trade now how these things affecting is you in your trade now listen money is a, the most emotional content we ever have because we put a lot of meaning behind money now when you take a trade that that trade that the, when the trade is going wrong or right when you see this the fluctuation of money that image create a response in your you know this uh, emotional brain it generates stimulus it generate emotion inside your brain and that emotion controls all the behavior that we are having with the trading now how this happened because this this Im image that you see in your mind is directly affecting the your emotional brain the way that a person when watching movie then they cannot control their cry similarly when you see a trade is going wrong hitting your stop loss you know that that's fine you manage your risk but still there is something creating in emotion inside you there is something like for example when you miss a trade there is emotion is being generated inside you that you are missing something you missed some important part in your life and that is evoking emotion that is causing you to trade for more trade or you know the many other types of emotion that is generating inside your brain that is affecting your decision making that is why you cannot stick to your strategy now you understood that the problem now how can you solve this problem by hacking your brain you need to hack your brain the clue is there the clue is this look subconscious mind cannot understand the difference between the real and imaginary and because it cannot understand the real and imaginary so you need to put imaginary image inside it the way it is creating emotion so that it cannot create emotion and you need to make your brain resilient so that it cannot create the emotion that is causing the problem in your trading let's see how the first brain hack technique it's called negative visualization now this technique used by stoics now let me tell you what is sto stoicism is a branch of philosophy stoics are the most resilient human being on earth this philosophy is developed by a person called zeno around 2 3000 years ago so these stoics what they does they do negative visualization now before i tell this technique let me tell you a small let me give you a small example say a small kid has fallen down when trying to walk fall down now when the kid fall down and if the kid say that okay i got hurt i don't want to walk anymore i don't i don't want to walk anymore because i fall down i hurt now what you will tell the kid ask this question to yourself definitely you will tell that it's okay honey it's all right you will be all right you, and you will try to you know, encourage him to stand up again walk again right and the kid will start walking again fall down again and then walk again so what happened every time when the kid has fallen down you are encouraging him to stand up so when he stand up again fall down every time what's happening that the kid is generating resilience similarly what happened when you see a stop loss hitting in your trade your brain is generating emotional response 
So what you will be doing the same thing. You will give your brain a lot of image, imaginary image where you, the, you are taking a trade and hitting your stop loss. And over and over and over again, when you do this negative visualization that, that you took a trade, so you have to see clearly in your mind. I will tell you how, but first know that you need to see clearly in your mind how you are taking a trade and then it is hitting your stop loss. You are taking a trade, hitting your stop loss. And when you do this visualization in a, for a certain period of time every day, what will happen that your brain started to become resilient. Your brain slowly will stop response to the stimuli and it will start to become resilient and you will not have that emotional response anymore and then your trade will not be affected. Now, I know that many of you may not try to believe that it's because of the emotional response you have. You might say, okay, there is a market condition. We don't have a strategy. We don't have indicators. No, because this is the excuse that we have give to ourselves. This is a normal response to human emotion. So when we generate emotion, we, we exhibit certain behavior, then we, we try to find an excuse. Even you are you know, taking a trade sometime without any reason. That's happened to everyone, it happened to me as well. When I was new, I used to say, okay, uh, there is a trade here, This, this, uh, it is on the support, on the resistance, I should take this trade because this emotion is creating a response inside us to take a you know, revenge trade or FOMO trade, but we try to find in our conscious mind an explanation behind why we are taking this trade. And that's how this emotion destroying our trading account. Now, negative visualization, how you will do that then? Just before you go to bed and wake up before, you know, after wake up early in the morning is the best time to do that. Anytime you can do that, but these are the two best time because when you do this negative visualization, your brain has to be in a rest, especially, you know, we have a brainwave called alpha. So when you can do it in alpha brainwave, that will have a highest effect because at that time, your conscious mind will shut down and your subconscious mind will receive information, whatever you are giving it to it. So what you'll do before you go to sleep, just sit down, do not lay down, then you'll fall asleep. Sit down, try to get relaxed for a couple of minutes and then clearly picture in your mind that you are taking a trade with proper risk management with proper risk management and then what happened you you saw that the trade has gone up for some time and then hit your stop loss imagine that scenario over and over and over again in your mind play that movie in your mind and also sometimes play that movie that there is a good trade but you still patient you didn't take it there is a good trade see in your mind clearly the chart the trade is coming and then you just let it go because it's not the right trade for you so whatever causing you to take a trade or over trade or whatever happening you need to visualize in your mind and you are still patient you are not responding to that problem and that's how when you do this over and over again your emotional brain will become you know uh, less uh, stimulus like it will become resilient and it will not create that much emotion that first time or second time or third time is happening when you are trading so this is a negative visualization so not only about anything even you can visualize at some point that you have taken a trade with a high risk reward and then after you take the trade you forgot it you do, did not look at it it hit your profit target or stop loss you did not manage the trade so there whatever you were trying to achieve in your trading you need to visualize it over and over again and also the negative side of trading visualize over and over again remember you cannot control the market you only can control yourself so stop loss hitting is a inevitable part of your trading so you cannot stop hitting stop loss but you can stop your emotion 
responding to that stop loss hitting and that's how you can become a profitable trader the next technique is meditation or prayer this this is very very effective so if you are praying as a muslim christian or hindu or any other religion or meditation same thing so when you are praying you have to do it full concentration because meditation or prayer what happen put our brain in a rest mode because you need to maintain your brain you need to let your brain rest sleep is not enough because when we think we are stay in a beta mode and then when we sleep we go to theta and delta but our rest happen in the brain properly when we are in alpha mode so meditation and prayer helps the brain to come to an alpha brain wave and then it put in a rest mode these two technique will help you to hack your brain to become properly successful as a trader remember you have all the ability power everything inside you to become profitable just you need to believe in yourself do the practice and let me know in the comment what happened i sincerely believe that this video is really really helpful to you if you you know watch this video till the end do the practice i can guarantee you will become successful in your trading thank you for watching